Welcome back. Uh, yeah. Welcome. We are heading over to the manor because I guess we are urgently needed over there. We we had a great... You know what, let's not talk about shapes. I sure hope there are no more shapes puzzles. At and the very time. least, in the immediate future. Listen, I know we're urgently needed at the manor, but, like, this guy probably has a puzzle, so... Also, I still want to go to Granny's Puzzle Shack. Yes. <laughs> Looks like you fellows are getting used to Saint Mystery. But stay sharp. Believe you me, you'll be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles before you can shout, Stats and Scarfin! Yeah. By now, I'm sure you've realized that you can retry puzzles you failed to solve, eh? However, you have noticed how some puzzles just to seem to vanish before you can get back to them. No. That's right. You see, that's the way it is with some things in life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good! But rest it is, you two. Those puzzles you thought had vanished have merely moved elsewhere. You must seek out Granny Riddleton's shack. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about, actually. We already knew that, sir. It's a strange old building, so it should be easy enough to spot. We, we are very aware of that, sir. But don't get sloppy just because you know how to retry puzzles. Sir, we are very... There's no honor in laziness. Now that you've got the lowdown on the puzzle, yes, sir, we... On the puzzles in town, let me finish! Let me throw a shark puzzle your way- er, <clears throat> Let me throw a puzzle your way to keep you sharp, yes? Well, now it's interesting. He could've just started there. The Lazy Guard. Puzzle number 56 worth 30 picarats. The local museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms as shown in the diagram below. The entrance to the complex is marked by A and the exit is marked by B. Okay, yes, I see. Security guard on duty is a bit of a loafer and wants to walk each room of the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What is the fewest number of turns he can make while still visiting every room? As an example, uh... the diagram below shows a course that involves six turns. Turns right, turns left, turns left, turn right, turns right, turns left. So yeah, that's six turns. So, to visit every room, and to make as few turns as possible. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Hmm. What if he just went straight at the beginning? Uh, actually, what if he... Does he have to... Does the exit have to be the last room? Does it say that? No, I'm assuming he needs to leave, but... Let's see. Walk each room of the exhibit. The fewest number of turns. Is it every room? It doesn't. It doesn't say. So I mean, we don't have. I don't think the. I don't think the final room has to be, or the. I don't even know that the um. Entrance has to be the first room. I mean, I you can start anywhere. It's a square, so I think it's symmetrical. If he starts at A or B. You would just mirror it. I don't think that part really matters. So if you just did a spiral from around the perimeter and ending in the center, it would be four turns. Can there be any fewer than four? It's true. That would be four. Hmm. Turn as few times as possible to visit every room. That's the only stipulation. Oh, I think you have to turn four times to get everywhere because it is a square. Mm. I think four is pro. Can you do three? I don't think you can do three. Let's see. Um. Uh, go one. Actually, one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns. No, that's still four turns. I'm not sure. I don't think you can do any fewer than four turns. Don't know if that's... every single path I'm taking, 
to try to make it as few as possible, I'm getting four. Hmm. I I think it's four. Let me I don't see. think you so can even do, do three. Like one. Two. You're doing diagonally. I'm trying. I'm thinking that might have something to do with it. I don't think that it. Like I mean, you because like one. Like two. I don't. I don't think you can do that. Three. Even then, that's still four. Yeah, that that's less work. than four. It's more than four. Takes do like four and see what happens. One, two, three, four. Four? Yeah, I don't know. Let's do four. Really don't know. I just want to know if it's four or not. If it's not four, then there it means that it's probably. Th oh, it is four. No? Oh, how embarrassing. Shows you an example on purpose. Sometimes seeing an example keeps people from thinking creatively. Ugh. Thanks for costing me my picarats. Our picarat, comrade. Yes. I mean. Uh, okay. Um. Like if we go like one, two, three. That's still four, though, right? One, two, three. Or wait, one. Oh wait, that's only three. Right? Because no. If there, well, so you turn one, like two. One, that is three. Two, that is three. Three, right? Me, that that very well could be the answer. If they're doing diagonals in this, then is I'm that, gonna be a. Is that not? If, if it's not three, I genuinely don't know, but... I mean, you can't do it in two, and the answer's not four, so it's three. No? I am so confused. Frankly, I'm ashamed. What? Uh... Is that not three? Okay, so... Surely there has to be a way to do it in two, right? Or is the thing that if you do it like that... The spiral that he's just... It's one big turn? Oh, no. Is that... One big turn? Is that the answer? Is it just Maybe. one? Maybe? There we go. Okay. I am... Uh, not so one, it's not three, it's not four. I... This so is, we are two. having a real one tonight, let me tell you. So it has to be two, then. It's gonna be funny if it's not two, which implies that it's a number larger than four, even well, though we've already is, proven... That's straight up wrong, then. Yeah, you can do every room in four turns. That should do it. I'm curious as to how they explain Critical this. Thinking is the key to success. Oh, okay, that's how. He just visited the same room twice, okay. Right. Uh... Yeah, I was thinking he was trying not to visit the same room twice, but I guess that wasn't, like, chat. a stipulation. We have to hold... Chat, uh, L's in the chat. We that are... was abysmal. L's in the chat for us, honestly. We're, we're not doing too great. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Seems the training I'm giving you has paid off. No, no, no need to thank me. Anywho, will be seeing you around. Let's not be paying off that well if it took us that many tries. Here's a, here's a desk, by the way. I, uh, I, I don't know what to do with this thing. Because I really don't want a desk. It just doesn't go with the rest of my room. Shut up and take the desk, Luke. I'm uh, tired of carrying things. Oh, okay, you're, Professor. You're nothing more to me than a manservant at this, at this point. Y yes, Professor. Carry this desk around. Okay. Take it back to the inn. In fact, you no. Know, it, it's carrying it around for the rest of the day builds uh, character, Luke. Poor Luke. Said no one ever. Alright, well, let's talk to these two, I suppose. Still no luck finding the villain? <laughs> what an odd world we live in! 
Well, you know what they say. Truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> Speaking of fiction, I just thought of this little gem. Please give me your honest feedback on it. Is it another where's my house puzzle? If it's another shape puzzle, oh, how many I'm going to scream. Puzzle number 34. How many sheets worth 40 picarets? Oh my gosh. Several rectangular sheets of transparent film are arranged on top of each other as shown. The lines represent areas where one sheet overlaps with another. At the thickest point of this pile, how many sheets are overlapping? Okay. Uh, at the thickest point of the pile. So, I can tell you right now, this, like, this square here, we do not yeah. care about. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty uh, sure... In fact, I would say the, the rectangle that it overlaps with. Is it this one? Is... No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, so that would be... One? <clears throat> one? Yeah, because that counts this one here. Gee. That one's in that. Uh, let's see. Uh, the big, the one in the middle is what it counts to. Yeah. One. Two. And then there's the... Yeah, because... You, you... Wait. Is, it, is that one the right one I'm thinking? Try the one above, the, the like, L piece above it. This L? Yeah, the that that L. Let's try that. You think that's? Yeah, I do. Give it, that... give it a shot. Count. Does that have any additional? Count from left to right. No. The one, Here. two, three, four. Just four. It doesn't sound right. Just four. Let me check. No. Yeah, we got like. One, two, three, four, five? I think it's five, right? Hold on, I'm counting. This is tricky. I have an idea, but I need a moment, so maybe for the interest of time, you know. I'm going to send you a thing, and it'll give us the answer, because I'm just using You're different colors. You're not cheating, right? No, I'm tracing over each square in a different color. And then I can count the number of colors that it adds up to the most on which part. So each square is its own color. If I had this in Photoshop, this would be really easy. It might be five. Let me let me check on this. See, I got really five quick. one time. I did it. I think it's that middle square, not the, not the little one. The the left the one to the left of the L. I think it's this yeah. part. I think it's that one. Are they all overlap? Yeah. Yeah, cause like, let's see, that would be one, two, three, four, five. I think it would just be five. You're missing. You're missing the one below the three that it's part of. If now what? Yeah, this? you're missing the. There's a tr there's a square below a rectangle below the three. The, this rectangle here. The lap the lines up. Okay. And there's one here. Yes, and then there's one inside of. Is there? Yeah, look, there's one inside of that one. Isn't that? Is there like this? No. From the bottom, from the, the, the long one. This from one. The yes, that one, that one, yes. I already counted that one. Okay, but then over and then do the one. So this is the square we're counting, right? Like this. Right, yes. So yes, count. That's one, two, three, and then four, and then where was my five? Does the... Wait. Because it's this square. We have this one. We have this one. We have this one. We I have think it's this one. We have this one. I think it really is just five. I think it is five. I think that that square that we filled in, if you count the number, it's five. And if it's not five, oh well. Luke, here's my answer. No, this is a W. Yes! There's our W. Look at that. Finally, full picker rats. 
That's right. This look, puzzle seems yeah. straightforward, but it's quite formidable when you get right down to it. Yeah. See, if I had all those colors, yeah, that'd be easy, but... Well, that's what I was tr attempting to do, and that's when I realized that that, fi that square with the five in it was the one that was most overlapped. Ugh. Brutal. Beautiful work! But I think the puzzles I write in my next novel will be even harder than that one. Oh, joy. If you have time, stop by later. I'm sure having utterly fascinating puzzle prepared for you by then. You found a strange gizmo? Oh yeah, dog parts. I almost forgot about that. We only have like two left at this point. We're really close to finishing the dog, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hey, now. guy! Hey, guy! Hey, you haven't talked to me in a while! <laughs> Uh, it was what up, nice. Bob? Hey, Professor! It's me, Deek! Looking busy as usual, yup. Oh, I got this puzzle I just can't figure out on my own here. Can you lend me a thinking cap? Let's see what it is. Puzzle number 57, cut which one? Worth 30 picarats. Below are six linked rings. They may look like a tangled mess, but there is one ring that, if cut away, would leave the remaining five rings connected end-to-end -end in a long chain. Uh, Which one must you cut in order to make the chain? Choose one answer from below. Okay, well, F is only connected to E. Yes. Currently. So, we can try to stretch... Wait, okay. Yeah, so F is connected to E. E is really in there because it's hooked on F, it's hooked on Hook C, and it's hooked on D, I think? Yeah, it is. A is hooked on both B and D. Okay. Okay, if you got rid of A, what would happen? Uh, a just wasn't there. So that would leave D connected. F would be, that would be the end of the chain. Well, no, because oh, no, D is still connected work. to B and E. Yeah, so it can't be A. E is hooked on B. It also can't be F. So e. it's gonna be B, C, E, or D. Yeah, let me draw some lines. So like F. Oh, I can't draw lines. Okay, never mind. C is connected to. E and B. Okay. Uh huh. B is hooked on C. It is not hooked on E. It is hooked on D and A. Um. Hmm. I think it's. I think it's D. D. So imagine if D wasn't there. If D wasn't there, you would have A it hooked would be to, to B, B, B hooked to C, and then E, and then F in a line. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hooray. Easy one. Every puzzle has an answer. Good job. If you examine the connections for each ring, the answer is surprisingly easy, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's what I was doing in my head. So, so that's how you do it, yeah? I can finally rest at night. This thing was bugging me for days. Let me tell you something neat. And by neat, I mean really terrifying. Oh, my favorite kind of neat. I think I've, uh, said I've actually seen that old man with the uh, big sack uh, coming out of that tower up north. See you dollars to donuts. He's the one behind all those disappearances. Uh, and nobody's <laughs> I mean, doing anything it about it? It doesn't take, uh, you know, no brainer to figure that one out. You know what he does up there? Uh, wait, no, I don't even want to think about it. Uh, it's just too scary, you know. Uh, thinking is too scary. I don't like to think. So I just don't do it. Sure, if you don't think. Professor, may I have some books, please? Well, Luke, it certainly looks like he's not going to be using them. I don't even think he knows how to read. Do you it's know true, how to I, read, uh, Professor? I, 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 uh, I don't know how to read. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with not knowing how to read. Uh, Luke, 
I've already read every single book in the world because I am amazing and smart. So you can have these books. Your puny little IQ brain probably needs it. Wow, thanks, Professor. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What's... Okay, so town hall's closed. Can I go to the left? I can go to the left. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Luke, we must... Something. I don't remember what I was going to say. Let's check on Granny and see if I missed a puzzle or two. I did not. Hello. You did not miss any puzzles today. That means Very you've done cool. all of the puzzles up to this point. Goodbye now. Let's see. Can we go through the... Through the clock tower? No. Uh, wasn't it to the left? Wasn't the there right. an area to the left? Oh, to the right? Yeah. What's this? Oh. What is this? It's glowing. What's that on the ground? It looks like a scrap of note paper. What's it say, Luke? Let's see here. Ahem. It's just terrible. Lady Viola has an awful case of the flu and hasn't left her bed for days. I'm no doctor, so I can't think of any way to help her. Oh, what to do, what to do. Lady Violet, oh, this channel must be talking about Baron Reinhold's first wife. My heart is heavy as I write these words. The loss of his wife has completely crushed the boss. If there only was something I could do to help. He walks around looking like he's had the wind knocked out of him. And that's the end. Gosh, whoever wrote this must have been awful love for the Baron to his family. <clears throat> but what does it mean? Can I just walk into the bakery again randomly? Is there going to be another puzzle here randomly? All of these ingredients for ours for the taking. Nobody's here watching. Yeah, nobody's for ever some reason been the here. door is unlocked though. Very responsible. Always unlocked, but I don't think there's a puzzle in here today. Not that I see one anyway. If there is, I clicked everywhere I could. Roadblock man, what is up? Hey there, Professor. I bet you're here to solve my puzzle. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, of course I'm right. He knows us so well. Puzzle number 59, the longest path worth 50 picarats. You boys are playing a game in which the goal is to take the longest route possible from A to B as shown on the map below. The only rule is that no section of road can be traversed more than once. What course should they take in order to cover the longest distance possible between point A and B? Oh, so uh... Just, like, we have to take, like, every... Like, every... Well, that's not... The that's longest easy. route possible while avoiding previous... Okay. We had a puzzle like this already at one point, if I remember. It was a while ago, though. I'm sure we did. No, that can't be right. Hmm. Oh, did you have a... I have pithy? no idea. Oh. <clears throat> Alright. That can't be it either. Let's see. Does it have to cross every street to be the longest route? Is the I question? don't think that would be possible. I don't think it would be. I think it's like an S and then... Oh, yeah. I think that's a good one. It's probably the answer. It's mean, pretty long, but is it the longest? I... I'm gonna save that one. I mean, that is long, but... No section of road can be traveled more than once. Okay. Hmm. I mean, that... That does look pretty long, but... 
I mean, yeah, like, that's kind of similar, though, is the thing. Oops, I did not mean to hit submit there. That was... That should do it. I uh, doubt that's right. Lost yeah, no. Picarats. That was actually an accident. I'm not even... I suppose I felt wrong. As a general wah, rule, you should wah. try to cover as many of the roads as possible. Yeah, no kidding. In the example above, it appears that the boy who walked the green path covered quite a bit of distance. However, as shown by the dotted lines, roads the boys passed up at a point the distance. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, game. That was an accident. Obviously, we have to take as many of these short roads as we can. You did one... Uh, so this one has 15 turns in it. The one you did that... I captured was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 turns. This is probably a good one then. Luke, here's my answer. Damn. Oh. Oh. How embarrassing. Okay, wow. This is, uh. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. Yes, yeah, so what I was doing is I was taking the base puzzle and I was going over it in different routes in different color ink. They should let you they should let you do that. Like in I wish DS. I had a few different colors, but I mean I think obviously what it what we should do is try to hit as many of these long sections as possible, maybe, but like Yeah. Uh yeah. Luke, here's my answer. I had a similar one. Oh. Now. Oh, how embarrassing. Okay, this <sighs> is tricky. Okay, um, hmm. Use a hit coin. Fine. Solving this puzzle, many people think they have to answer on their first try only to discover otherwise. Try to walk as much of the road possible on your way to point B. Yeah, that's... That, that's literally... Uh... The area where the boys are walking is a square that's more or less composed of long and short sections of road. After you charted out your course and think you have the answer, take a quick look to see how much road... Yeah, that's... These hints suck! Starting out from point A, head to the far left as possible. When you reach the left border, start heading south. The longest path you can draw will form an S-shaped line through the middle of town. But, like... Uh, like... Then down, yeah, and then down or er, to the left. No, you can't cross over. I think you had it before. Wait, so like that. To the right, up, over, and then up, yeah. One, two, three. No, oh, that's way too many long sections of unmapped. There's no way, right? What, what okay. was that last hint? Start heading south from the left border, yes. So obviously this... We know that is correct at the very least. Well, regardless, if I turn here, I'm leaving either this section here or this section here unmappable, I think. I think you go up straight up. Oh, like that, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, that looks more yeah, right. Yeah, that... That looks that's way probably more it. right. Yeah... That has Oof. to be it. Luke, How did we not get answer. that? I was yeah. not expecting that to be so hard. Every puzzle has an answer. Nice work. Speaking of leisurely strolls, have you been outside today? If it's sunny, why not go for a nice walk? Thank you, game. Bang up job there, Professor. Even that puzzle didn't phase you, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. It's not you're a pro! Yep, you're a real piece of work, prof. You know that? Yes, you do. You're a scholar, after all. We got a painting scrap. Okay, well, I know this has been very non-progression, but it's been like 40 minutes, so I think I'm calling it there. 40 minutes of us going, oh, gosh, yeah, maybe this one? I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of guesswork, because I just yeah. did not know. Same. I promise I will try to apply critical problem solving next time, I swear. I, I promise to not make any promises. Yes.